I'll give you five seconds to name your favorite tank in World of Tanks Blitz. One, two, three, four, five. I guess you were stumped and couldn't name just one tank. In this video, you'll learn about my favorite tanks in the game. I use them when I just want to relax and unwind. Hope you find it very interesting. Let's get started. I'll start from tier 5 to tier 10. I've chosen one research tank and one premium tank. Let's start with the PZ-4 Gargoyle tank. This tank interests me a lot because of its gun. For tier 5 tank, it has very powerful damage per shot, meaning with just one shot, you can take away half of the opponent's hit points, sometimes even more. Also, at tier 5, I like the Leopard. Again, it has a very interesting gun. There are no analogs to this tank in the game. There's not much to say about it. It's basically a machine gun on tracks. By the way, the Leopard moves quite fast. Let's move on. At tier 6, I have Leopard's brother, called the VK2801. The situation is similar to the Gargoyle. The gun has high damage per shot, and on top of that, it has very good mobility. Playing this tank is so fun. Sometimes you can even use it for ramming. As for the premium tech, I chose the Su-100Y. It's basically a Soviet barn. And really, size of this tank may shock you, but what's even worse is its armor. Or rather, the lack of armor. You might get the impression that this tank is terrible. But that's until the first shot. Because the damage per shot here is a whopping 460 units, which is very impressive at tier 6. But don't forget about premium shells where the damage is even higher, 530 units. Yes, it's that type of tanks where the damage from premium shells is higher than regular ones. Let's keep moving forward. Welcome to the most mad tier, tier 7. And I think you've already guessed what I chose. For those who haven't, I'm talking about the Dracula. This tank has the fastest acceleration in the game and its top speed is 65 kilometers per hour, which isn't much and you feel like the tank could go even faster. Overall, it's a very interesting tank and playing on it is incredibly fun. Also, I have an average damage of 3,500 on this tank, and there's no cheating involved. Also, at tier 7, this tank catches my attention. It's the Su-100 M1. Firstly, this tank is quite fast, and secondly, just look at its armor penetration. It's simply unimaginable that tier 7 tank can have this. However, there's a significant downside. It's the gun depression angles, or rather the lack of these angles, but for me, it's not a problem overall. Let's move on to the next tier. Su-130PM, my favorite tank destroyer in the game. But don't think I'm the kind of player who just sitting in bushes at the back of map. No, I like to play aggressively in this tank and almost always find myself on the front line. Among the tank's advantages, you can note the super powerful and comfortable gun, excellent dynamics and the unusual shape of the hull. Sometimes shells will bounce off the upper armor plate or fly into that gap in the hull. However, to make the most of this tank, you need to have skill. My second favorite tank at tier 8 is the T-49. I think no explaining you need here. Just look at the damage per shot and you'll understand everything. At tier 9, I prefer to play the Conway. It's a rather strange and not obvious choice, but I'm just crazy about this tank. Its cool gun with Hesh shells and the presence of a fully rotating turret make this tank truly dangerous on the battlefield. As for premium tanks, I chose the Object 752. Personally, I think this tank has the most cheaty armor in the game. After all, it appears grey in the scope, but in reality, it often doesn't penetrate. I always hate seeing the Object 752 on the enemy team. Let's move on. And finally, tier 10. Here lies my all-time favorite tank in the game. And let's see if you can guess which one it is. I'll reveal it at the end. The first tank is the Object 140. The tank boasts high damage per minute, specifically 3,800 units. And if I remember correctly, it has the fastest gun reload at this tier. Its top speed of 60 km per hour is also worth noting, along with its incredible off-road performance and most importantly, excellent gun stabilization. Overall, I find it very enjoyable to play with this tank. The next tank is the Bat Chatillon 25T. I bet you didn't expect that. At least, I've already chosen two research tanks. I did this because I couldn't choose just one of them. The French light tank attracts me with its auto-loading gun with three shells. And being a light tank is the most important aspect. For those who don't know, light tanks have the ability to maintain camouflage even while moving. Therefore, the combination of all the characteristics of this tank creates a very interesting and unusual gameplay. Plus, there are consumables for faster ammunition distribution. Overall, I just adore this tank. And the last tank at tier 10, this time a premium one. It's the FV217 Badger. I know you're surprised again. Why the Badger? Firstly, it's the armor. And the most important thing is that the armor is indeed present and has almost no vulnerable spots in the frontal armor. There's only a small area on the lower part of the hull and it's even hard to hit when the tank is moving. Also, considering the armor, the tank moves quite fast. And most importantly, it rotates quickly on the spot too. And of course, the gun. High DPM, excellent penetration and accuracy. Plus, high explosive shells with increased armor penetration. I believe this tank is ideal for playing in ranked battles. Personally, it's my go-to for relaxation. So, my favorite tank in the game is the Object 140, and also it's my first Tier 10 tank. Comment below if you managed to guess that the Object 140 is my favorite. I hope this video was very interesting. Now it's your turn. 
write in the comments about your favorite tanks in the game. I'll be very interested to read them. See you next time. Bye for now.